The wife's 5'9". I'm going to give it a fire up here. It's a little chilly out here. I mean, June 8th. Uh, I mean, it's a little... It's a little nippy. It's only like 52 degrees this morning. A little bit on the cold side, so I'm going to turn off the AC mode. Put it on just a little bit of heat. Um, don't need any... I <clears throat> don't need any defrost, but get that going just to keep the glass cleared up. Flip on our tab lights, mirrors, and daytime headlights. Yeah. You can see them a lot better without the sun absolutely being blazing hot. On the road in the wife's 5.9, the third gen. We got plenty of tissues because we're all like freaking sick as a dog. It's just wonderful. I'm telling you, it's got to be these Canada wildfires, man. Like messing up all the air, making everybody sick around here. Yeah, or, well, there's been a couple actually since then, but yeah, I, I don't know. But anyways, so I'm starting to sound like crap this morning, more and more. But we're on our way to go buy Another item for her, she has this tendency recently of buying and selling and selling and buying and whatever. You know, trying to be like a little gangster Facebook marketplace trader or something. I don't know what's going on. But we're in the third gen. This is doing good. Cruise is set. Drives so smooth, so soft. Kids' heads are like bouncing around going crazy back there. It's pretty nice. So, let's see how this goes. We got three and a half hours to go. Sorry about the kids' music, but well, that is one freaking clean, clean second gen. Oh my, oh my. I will say this, you do not often see a second gen that clean. Unless it's on Gateway Motor Cars website. That's pretty freaking nice. We're back in the homeland. Well, what used to be the homeland, old Indiana. Just nothing but corn and beans. As far as the eye can see, man, their corn is doing great down here. Knee high by the 4th of June, man. It's doing great. They must have got their stuff in early. Most of the guys back home, they must have missed all that good rain they got in when it dried up. And we haven't had really any rain since. Indiana got rain recently. Well, yeah, they just got rain again the other day. Well. We say Indiana, we at least mean one part of Indiana that yeah. her parents live, at least, but. The kids are not. Right. <laughs> the kids are finally sick of the four hour drive. Just a couple minutes left and we're gonna be here. Good old second gen Dodge. He's actually trying to let you over too. Second gen Dooley putting in the work, baby. It's like a regular cab Dooley version of Rosine. Uh, yeah, she we got over so he could pass, and then she got over so he got over so we could pass. And it was a mutual thing, you know. Bro, they got a first gen, bro. I mean, yeah, it's a little on the rough side, but it's a firsty. It's a firsty. There's just horses free ranging around here. No fencing, bro. Dogs and horses living together. <laughs> What you doing entering for a second gen? Uh, you, I don't know. Oh, I, I needed the detail spray for my shop. Right. So, yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, I, just, I just ordered some. You see that? There we go. He's yeah. like, I'm just going to buy some I'm already going to use. And then she just happened to come with a yeah. super clean truck and cash at the same time. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So Chris James out of Pennsylvania. Yeah. What part yeah. of Pennsylvania again? Central Pennsylvania. Central. Yeah. Cold Mont. Yeah. That's a sick ride. You guys dodge guys it looks like a little bit okay <laughs> there you go was it yours or did you just buy it and then... 
I actually bought it out of a guy in just east of Pittsburgh an hour. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so closer to me. Right. <laughs> yeah, I bring it all the way out this way, and then he, he's like, yeah, I just called the winner. He's out of Pennsylvania. I'm like, I just got that title out of Pennsylvania, <laughs> and then we just kind of a pain in the butt. Yeah. Right you gotta back. go back. Yeah. Right. Yeah, for sure. She Which one's yours that you drive? This is my wife's. Okay. Her truck's a little cooler than mine. Okay. And then my truck is actually a gas version of like this, but it's a half ton. Okay. Oh, so it's white, gotcha. which is like this, 1500, 59 gas. And it was my grandfather's truck that I bought him when I did my first giveaway ever. Okay. The first money I ever made, I bought my grandfather truck and he passed away a little over a year ago. So I bought the truck back to completely restore the truck. Gotcha. So that's my that's your truck now. Yeah, so I got rid of my other truck. Gotcha. And I don't drive a new truck anymore and I just keep that. And between that and the wife's truck, I only drive so many trucks, you know. <laughs> and we always have a giveaway and truck. There's always a giveaway truck. Yeah, the red one's the next one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, dude. All right. Yeah, dude, it's, it's stout. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. You ever had a manual? Yeah. Yeah, I've had like 80 some cars. Some kids <laughs> yeah. have more vehicles than us, and we give them away every month. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I had a. Camaro, my last manual, it was pretty, he used to win his drag strip with it all the time, yeah. Heck yeah. What year was that? That was, uh, 19. Okay. And then I had Sweet. a Supra, right, that I just got rid of. Oh, man. Should have kept it. So you have good taste in cars, you like yeah. to, like yeah. to be yeah. able to taste I of everything. Yeah, I get it. If it goes, I'll, I'll buy it. Heck yeah. Yeah, she has a new BMW, so. Yeah, I heard you say that. Yeah. Yeah, he likes to try them all out. Yeah. 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 Well, well, I BMW. Yeah, right. two hours and then, yeah. Life's too short to drive the same car all the time. Yeah, yeah. I figure you. I upgrade every. We're trying to build a house now, though. So, right. so uh, might not have to upgrade for a couple of months at least. <laughs> yeah, probably keep the ones we have for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully this helps in some way. Yeah, I mean, hopefully. it's a sweet. She just rolled over to ninety-nine. I think on the notary it was ninety-nine thousand four hundred seventy miles. Okay. Which, I mean, I don't know how many of these older trucks you've dealt with, but it's pretty... Not too many. Yeah, I it's usually, pretty I'm hard usually to come by. New, yeah. I usually stick to the newer one. The only paperwork you need from me is title. Yep. And um, it's notarized with zero dollars of pay price. Okay. And it was verified by a notary this morning. You didn't leave anything in there, didn't you? No, it's, okay. it's all good to go. But there's that. You can just make sure before you leave your front side transferring away from me okay yeah it'll be over 100 by the time i get back and then uh here in okay there we go yeah. right. any of the videos or see the website so anything that we done i saw the first video of it and okay. i was like oh, I'll, I'll put 100 right. bucks in it and try to right. write yeah. right <laughs> and that was it and yeah. then they and then like a month later or whatever he called me and said i want I had to look back and see what truck it even was. Right. I was like, I wanted I win. Didn't it sound just like the last guy? It's seriously he's identical. Like, he's like, honestly, dude, I like saw a picture of it. I'm like, what the heck? You know, yeah. I spent 180, 100 bucks on stupid stuff on a weekly basis. He's like, I don't know, buy <laughs> something. Like, yeah. And then he's like, you know, then I win a giveaway. He's like, have I had a giveaway? He's like, lnbgear.com? He's like, oh yeah. He's like, I, yeah. He's like, just got my stuff a couple days ago. I was kind of wondering where that stuff came from. I kind of, he's like, I don't know. He's like, I buy stuff online all the time. I kind of yeah. forgot about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, he called me. I thought it was a prank call or something, you know. Call, or one of those, people call me yeah, all the like time. Telemarketers like, or something. Yeah, he's like, stupid. oh, you want a giveaway? I was like, hey. Then I he didn't knew. Believe him when he told me. <laughs> then he knew my email too, and I was like, hmm, how does he know my That's phone number? That's kind of suspicious. My email, <laughs> and he knows my address. I was like, all right, I'll, I'll call him back and right. see. <laughs> well, my exact words to him were, what, do they want your bank account and your social security <laughs> right. number next? <laughs> right. We'll get messages on Instagram and guys will be like, hey, I saw you message me, so I sent the 200 bucks. And when do I come get my truck? And I'm like, dude, we didn't send you a message telling you to pay us 200 bucks, man. You got, that's a scam, bro. Yeah. I mean, we got FAQs on the site. We got an avoid scammers page, all yeah. kinds of stuff to try to like, if you can't get a hold of me, like, just go to the site. There's something on there, you know? Yeah. And unfortunately, like, it's like. Yeah, people you know, some yeah. people they jump on it so quick and they like send stuff. They want it so bad. They cash at me, you know, and you're like. <laughs> but yeah, I, I I hate scams because it makes us look bad for the people that don't understand. It's actually right, yeah. actually not related to our business at all. Yeah. And they're like these guys scam me. They're leaving a review on our website. I'm like, dude. <laughs> like I had a guy who didn't even place an order, and he's like, yeah, I got called, said I won, so I paid something. 
and the guy sounded kind of Indian, which I thought was weird because Malachi's not Indian. You didn't even place an order. What are you talking about, dude? Yeah. Why you? Why would you even fall for it in the first place? I still feel bad for him because it sucks. It yeah. really sucks. Yeah. But we did the um, the Nitto tires on it. Okay. Brand new Ridge Gravel. We probably got like 150 miles on them. Okay. Brand new tires. We just kept the stocks. We did all new brand new tint. PK Tent Stacks did that mobile tent uh, okay. local. He's a guy who just started doing it. And we put the new clear headlights and clear cameras. Yeah, I saw on the one picture it had the yellow hair. Yeah, we have the amber okay. still in the truck. They're on the back seat. Yeah. The original ones, if you want the original headlights and bulbs and the original cab lights, if you want them, have the old stuff. Yeah. They'll go with the truck regardless. Okay. Sounds good. If you want them, but they're just there anyway. But um, yeah, I mean, that's all there is to it. It's a clean old Dodge diesel with a five speed manual. Ready to go. Yeah, it's ready to go, dude. Yeah. I would have been here six minutes earlier. I got <clears throat> pulled over on the way. Oh, no. Really? <laughs> yeah. What was, the, what was the damage on that? Uh, they didn't give me the, the they, it was 85 and a 65. Okay. It was, it was 80, it turned from a 70 to a 65 and then back. That's why you can't be buying all these fast cars, bro. You're going to. I was in Ohio. Control. I was were, you, in, were you in Ohio? <laughs> I was in right in, in Ohio, yeah. Ohio That's a lot. Sucks. Yeah. If anybody from working this was a state trooper. Yeah. It was a state trooper. They get him every time. Yeah. He didn't literally, <clears throat> they ticket so many. Like every time we go to church, even like on Sundays, it'll be like first thing in the morning. I'll pass like 10 people within 20 miles that are just on the side of the road of the state trooper getting a ticket. Yeah. And they'll pull you over for stupid stuff. Like five, six over. You, you get, That's I'm why like, I said they're probably more nitpicky with the speed. Dude. Oh, yeah. Fat, but they always have nice cars. Always yeah. update, like the ones in Ashland. They have like brand new Corvettes that are wrapped with yeah. Ohio State Trooper. Okay. With lights on them. I'm like, dude, you pass out too many tickets if you're affording friggin' brand new Corvettes to go yeah. ticket. People. This one was only a Charger. So I right. Was, tell you what, though. You didn't get a ticket for that speed. That's pretty... Pretty good in Ohio. Yeah. Well, he gave us a ticket, but he, oh, he, okay. he didn't give me a price on it. He just gotcha. called us number. Oh, no. Never mind. You're screwed. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully not. He called us number. I was like, well, he knows I'm not coming back. I'm just going to pay it online. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he knew my address, so he knows it's five hours away. Right. I was just like, well, whatever. It was the last day of the month. It was a Sunday. I was headed to a kid's birthday. And I'm going downhill. I'm in a 55 and I get up to like 65 going downhill. Yeah. There's a lot of hills around here. Yeah. So you go 55 and you're just still keeping your foot on and then you let off. Even if you're going downhill, like you just, you'll gain five, 10 miles per hour like that. Yeah. Well, he's waiting at the bottom. Yeah. For you to go and by. as soon as I come, it's like a windy corner to come around and hit the bottom. And he like clocks it, runs and grabs me. And he's like, you know how fast you're going? I'm like, honestly, dude, no. I'm like, I know it's 55 here. I don't I don't even know what I was going. I was just going up and down through here. I'm like, yeah. my speed fluctuates a little bit up and down the hills. They said 25 back there coming through, and I was like, I don't know if this is 25, but I'm going to just try to I don't want to get another ticket. But, right. Yeah. So then I, like, go through, and he's like, yeah, I got you on 72 right there. I'm like, okay, I know for a fact I wasn't going to 72. Yeah. But. Exaggerated a little bit. I, yeah. I don't think I was going 85 either, but I just. I was just like whatever. Like I'm like looking at him. I'm like I'm pretty sure. Like I, I like I'd admit to going like 65. I, I mean I might have been going 65. Yeah. Like, I might have been going 10 over down the hill there. But I'm like yeah. I wouldn't go in 72 miles an hour. Where's a good place to eat around here? What's the joint in Ashland? The one that you ate at? Which one are you talking? About? Um, burger one. You said you had the best burger. Um, one of the best burgers. The best burger. I mean the best burgers you made. Made yeah. by me. <laughs> If you ask second anybody best, around second here. Second best. Part. Second best would be either um, Uniontown. It's right downtown Ashland. You're like 10 minutes. Okay. Or Southwest Street Grill. If, I don't know what they're That one. Are. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. But they're, they're like legit. They're okay. They're, 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 gotcha. gotcha. You don't get yeah, trouble. so you don't get any liability. Yeah, because otherwise it's a federal offense if you're running illegal. They call it illegal lottery if you don't have documentation yep. and everything right. for each individual giveaway. Yeah. And I see some of those giveaways out there. They're like, oh, cash at me, 100 bucks a spot. I'm like, dude, you yeah. need the wrong guy to see you. <laughs> yeah. And that's like ridiculous fines. Yeah. And prison Especially time. if there's like, people that. Yeah. I'm not one to go turn anybody in. I don't care. It's just kind of like, just at your own discretion. Yeah. That's how I am, too. I guess. Do whatever. Whatever. Well, technically, window tends to be in Pennsylvania. Right. So yeah. That's a bummer. <laughs> <laughs> well, my brother has all of everything. We tend to cop cars. Oh. Around our area. Now. Gotcha. It's theirs, but they don't want you to take yours. They don't care if it's ours. Okay. But they use it as probable cause to pull other people over. Like, that's five. That's as dark as you can get. Right. Mm -hmm. They're not going to pull me over, though, because they know it's my truck. Right. But, but if they see somebody else driving around, they, I mean, 
be like, hey, your windows are tinted. It's actually actually kind of the same thing that the dude that tinted this thing also tints like cop cars and stuff, so yeah. he kind of gets away with it and stuff. Yeah, yeah, he's like, yeah, if they say, like, if they see me, it's kind of like, well, I mean, you're just doing your job, I guess. So. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Yeah, it's only 70% on the sides, which is like, that's what comes factory, so you can't put anything on it. Dude, this thing with factory glass was terrible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if they even did that for factory back then, but it was like, just you could just see straight through. Yeah. And the, the brake on this thing actually doesn't work. Most of the time, these old things don't work. This does work. Okay. But it's in good shots. You know. Stop gosh. getting it dusty. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's the best looking dually we've seen in so long, dude. Guys, I don't know if you heard anything I said in this video. Well, I can't talk. So, we kind of had to make the video short because, like, it, it hurts. And he, he understands and he's like, dude, like, we're good. I got a seven hour drive anyway, so we're good. <laughs> there she goes. Say that. Or until we buy it back. it back. I hope not. I hope he enjoys the truck, but part of me hopes he's like, dude, I got too many brand new vehicles. I'll just sell it back to you. And I'll be like, great, we'll title it back out of Pennsylvania again. But <laughs> bring it back. I would buy it back, just so you know. If you see this, I would buy that truck back. I, think it's I, I messaged so him. I'm like, you said you might sell one of your vehicles. He's like, I don't know if I'll, you know, keep or sell one of my vehicles now that I get this thing or what, you know. and I'm like, you want to like just, or you just like sell me the truck back. Like I just like pay value for the value of the truck and the cash. And then just like, keep it here. He's like, nah. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to keep it actually. I'm like, yeah. But I mean, that's if you have want. We want somebody to like a truck so much that they want to keep it. But I mean, like, if you are going to sell it, it's that nice, bro. Give me a call back. I think it's sick. You tell them about it. I'll, I'll do just that. We got the old nasty red 2.0 with the new paint, the wheels, the tires, the mirrors. You know, kind of got everything done on it. New tint. This thing is live with 20x entries right now. Head on over to lnpgear.com. Go get entered. I mean, who doesn't like a good old flatbed with a custom exhaust that just absolutely dumps coal? Doesn't get much better. It really doesn't. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Peace out. We're signing out.